In this video, we'll go through the steps to install a Windows VM on a Synology NAS using Virtual Machine Manager. There's a few ways to do this, and for this video, we'll configure the VM to boot using UEFI. I'll also create a separate video on how to do this same Windows VM installation using the legacy BIOS setup. In both cases, we'll be installing Windows 11. We'll set up a local account and bypass the default requirement to log on using a Microsoft account. We'll install the Synology guest tools for Virtual Machine Manager, set up the WebVNC console with better resolution, and configure remote desktop access to the Windows VM. Let's get started by first installing Virtual Machine Manager from the Package Center. Next, let's create a shared folder where we'll upload the Windows 11 ISO file. Then you'll want to bring up Microsoft's software download page for Windows 11, which I'll link to in the description below. Look for the Download Windows 11 Disk Image section, select the Windows 11 ISO from the pull-down menu, and click Download Now. Select the product language you would like to use, click Confirm, then click on the 64-bit download option to start the download. Once the Windows 11 ISO is downloaded, switch back to DSM and upload the ISO to the shared folder that you created earlier. Now we can launch Virtual Machine Manager, run through the initial setup steps like setting up the volume where virtual machines will be installed, then switch to the image section. From here, click Add, select From Synology NAS from the Choose an Installation file window, select the Windows 11 ISO that was just uploaded, and click on the Select button. Click Next. Select the VM storage location where the image will be added and click Done. This will start the process of creating the ISO file that Virtual Machine Manager will be using. You'll also want to click on the Download Synology Guest Tool option and download that ISO as well. Once both ISOs have a status of healthy, switch over to the Virtual Machine section and click Create to launch the Create Virtual Machine Setup Wizard. Here, ensure Microsoft Windows is selected and click Next. Click Next on the Select Storage window. Then from the Configure General Specifications window, give your Windows 11 VM a name. Provision at least two CPUs and a minimum of four gigabytes of memory. Everything else can remain as is. For storage, provision at least 64 gigabytes but for my setup, I'll double that amount for extra space for files and applications. For network, I'll leave mine as is, but adjust this if you have a custom network setup. From the other settings window, select the Windows 11 ISO for boot up. Set the firmware to UEFI, adjust other options to your specifications, and click Next. Click Next again on this Assign Power Management Permissions window. Then enable the Power On the Virtual Machine after Creation option from this Summary window and click Done. This will create the VM and once it is powered on and the Connect button is enabled, click on it to bring up the VM's Web VNC console. If you miss the option to press any key to boot using the Windows ISO like I did, type Exit and hit Enter at the Shell Prompt. Select Continue, and now you can press any key to boot from the Windows ISO. Now we can start setting up and installing Windows. If you have a product key, enter it in. If not, select I don't have a product key. For operating system, I recommend selecting Windows 11 Pro, which allows for remote desktop access. Accept the Microsoft software license terms and click Next. Select the Install Windows Only option for installation type since this is a new install. Then click Next to install Windows on the unallocated drive that was set up earlier. This will start the installation process, which took approximately 15 minutes in my setup and will depend on your NASA's speed. 
Once the installation is complete, we can continue with the setup and, as mentioned earlier, we'll create a local account rather than link to a Microsoft account. To do this from this Select Country or Region window, use the Shift F10 key combination to bring up the command prompt. Type OOBE backslash bypass NRO and hit enter to disable the internet connection requirement and reboot the VM. When back at the same window, use Shift F10 again and this time type ipconfig space slash release and hit enter to force Windows to drop its IP address assignment. Now continue with the setup by selecting your country and keyboard. When prompted, select I don't have internet. Then choose continue with limited setup to be able to create a local account. Enter a username, password, and complete the security questions. Choose privacy settings for your device, and in a few minutes, you'll be logged in to your fresh install of Windows. Next, let's install the Synology Guest Tools for Virtual Machine Manager, which provides drivers and additional functions to the VM. Open File Explorer, navigate to the CD drive where the ISO is mounted, and run the installation. Then reboot the VM after the software is installed. You can also head back to Virtual Machine Manager and unmount both the Windows 11 and Synology Virtual Machine Manager guest tool ISOs while the system is rebooting. The reboot will bring the VM back online as well. To access files directly from the Synology NAS, we can use SMB, which is enabled by default in DSM. In Windows, open File Explorer, select Network, and turn on Network Discovery and File Sharing, which I'll do just for the private network that I'm using. Once that is done, Windows Network Discovery will detect the Synology NAS running the VM, allowing you to log in and view files on the NAS. Next, we'll change the resolution for this web VNC console by restarting the VM and adjust the resolution from within the BIOS. Once the VM reboots, repeatedly press the Escape key until you get to the BIOS window. Select Device Manager, then OVMF Platform Configuration. Change the resolution to something better than 640x480, such as 1920x1080, which I found works well. Select Commit Changes and Exit, then press Escape, and select Continue to reboot into Windows. Then restart your Windows VM once again for the resolution change to take effect. Finally, we'll enable remote desktop access to the Windows VM. This is done by opening Settings, then select System and Remote Desktop. Toggle on the Remote Desktop switch and click Confirm on this pop-up window. Next, open the Network and Internet settings of the VM to get the IP address assigned to its Ethernet adapter. Now you can bring up your remote desktop client, create a connection to the Windows VM, and log in. One last thing that I found was the time was incorrect, so adjust your date and time settings if needed. At this point, you should have a fully functioning Windows VM running on your Synology NAS. If you do, consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel for more content like this. Also, if you would like to support my work or hire me for a project, check out the links on screen or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.